sexy buttons for the Plaid Model S and Model X. We're gonna install these today and have some fun with them. We're gonna play with them, push some buttons, rub some buttons, and uh, fondle some. And we're gonna find some great ways to use this product. So have you ever had trouble finding the turn signals in your Plaid Model S? Sexy buttons can fix the answer for you in your Plaid Model S. Ah, sorry for the shirtless clip there but it was funny. My wife wouldn't do it. Thought about going to Hooters and getting one of the waitresses to do it, but you know, I, I just figured, you know, I'll do it. I'll take one for the team. So you might be asking yourself, where do you plug this in? Now in the Model 3 and the Model Y, behind the center console here, there is a spot where you hook up a device that plugs into the OBD2 port and actually makes an OBD2 port. That's what this is. And then the device that comes in the box hooks up to that. Well, there's no spot back there for that. So what you do is you end up popping this off. You pop this, just you just grab it and pull towards you. You need both hands. And then right back in here, you plug this in. There's no jumper or anything. You just plug it into the port there. You plug in the other device here. You tuck everything back in there and that's it. Then you pair it with your phone, put the sexy buttons wherever you want to. You get quite a few of them. You get six buttons here and then you can program them. And actually there's some new updates just recently that you can long press and short press for added features to the same button, which is amazing. I love this. For the Model 3 and the Model Y, you can actually have a button on the steering wheel that puts it into autopilot. A lot like this. You just push this button and it goes into autopilot for the Model S and the Model X, the, well, the new versions. I'm going to try some different things because, well, there's no horn here, just, just an airbag. So it's awkward to hit this horn button. Yes, you can smash over this, but you're always thinking to grab here. Uh, and there's some cool things that you can do with the horn feature. You know what, let's just get the app and I'll show you some of those. And then uh, well, I'll program some and I'll show you why I put them where I put them. So it literally is called the Sexy Buttons app. And when you pull it up, it shows, it's, it's looking for my car right now, um, but it shows that uh, I have a firmware update and they update this all the time. But you can have all your buttons here, different colors, you can have different faces around them. And then all you have to do if you want to change this, like this is an open glove box button, which is amazing to have because you have to go through the menu system and find that. But all you do is scroll to whatever you want, say autopilot, and then you want cruise control, autopilot, autopilot on, or autopilot hands-on, which I like the hands-on because then if the nag pops up, you just push the button and the nag goes away. Basically what it does is, now you have to pay attention, but what it does is it scrolls the speed up one and down one so fast that it doesn't change any speeds or anything, but it gets rid of the nag, which is really cool. But I also like to turn it on that way uh, because that it works best for me. But you can you can do whatever you want to do. There's so many different things. You got, you got media, charging, the mirrors, uh, whoa, went too fast, the heated seats, climate control, the headlights, which is really cool. You know how you, uh, you know how in autopilot, now automatic headlights are always on. And sometimes you don't like that. Sometimes I don't want the brights popping on all the time because I don't think they're very accurate. So you can actually turn that off with this. You can't turn this off with the, on the screen. You have to have it that way. Now you got wipers, accessibility, the locks. It looks like there's a new feature. And when there's a new feature or they have a red dot so you can see. So with a button, you can hit unlock or lock. You can toggle them instead of reaching all the way up to the screen. You can have buttons laid up. You can have buttons laid here. So you can actually just hit buttons, which is really cool. I'll try to set you guys up so you can see. But I'm going to install this and then we'll go through the app and I'm, I'm going to program a bunch of stuff. All right, so right behind here, I disconnected that blue cable and ran it behind, plugged it in here, and I wrapped it in some a cloth so it doesn't make noise. 
tuck it on a cavity there and just push this back into place. And uh, I actually had the screen on screen clean mode because I actually angled it to myself. So I actually got in there since I don't have the motor that actually moves this. I was able to get in the and and adjust that. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but um, I'm sure Tesla doesn't want you to do that. Worst case, I can always move it flat again, and if they upgrade the motors or upgrade the stuff, we can do that. But now, now it's it's easier to reach all the way over there, and you can see the screen a little bit better. Actually, I wouldn't mind it angled a little bit more. That's that's something totally different. Let's uh, let's pl program these things. Have some fun with these. All right, so I got my shirt back on. I got everything going, and what I did, I put. I don't know if you can see this. I put one of the turn signals right back here. I took it off my nipple, put it right here, and it's on the other side as well. So if I want to put the turn signal on to go right, I just hit the button right behind. So my hand, my hand would be driving like this, and I just have to hit that button. I think that makes the yoke or a round wheel useful because this right here is really stupid. Having the turn signals right there, absolute dumbest thing they could have done. They should have integrated buttons back here anyway. You would still have no stalks, but Tesla would, it'd be better. In my opinion, my, it, whatever. But I get it, full self-driving, you're not gonna need that stuff, but I think we're pretty far from full self-driving. So this has been updating, it just finished updating. And I'm gonna go over some of the features that I did for this. So right here, I put a horn button. So it beeps the horn right where a horn would be. Now you can move this down, you can put it here, you can put buttons anywhere you want to. Uh, but this is just kind of funny because, you know, it should be a horn there. And it actually kind of disappears, you don't even notice it. I forgot it was there. What I ended up doing is putting the sexy buttons right here. So there's three buttons here. This first one is for the glove box. So that's really nice to have, so you don't have to go into the menu system and hit that. This, this button here is for, this is for a thank you. So watch the hazards when I push the button. That's really nice. So you can hit a button here. So if someone lets you in, you can hit that button. And it's a thank you because, you know, there's really rude people out there in the world. It's nice to be nice to people and you should thank people. And with tinted windows, it's really hard to, say, to wave your hand up, say, hey, thank you. So this is a quick way to do that. Now this third button here, I'm reprogramming and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna program it to. And there's a trick to programming. All right, so hopefully there's not a really bad glare here, but the X, all you have to do is push on the X and it pulls up all of your options here. So you can have it set to whatever. You can have it open a door, you can have a regen, um, Acceleration, you can go to go to plaid, uh, but I always drive in plaid, so that's no big deal. Uh, you can turn your heated seats on, your headlights, your wipers, accessibility, which is where you get the turn signals, your hazards. You don't need that because it's there. Uh, a short horn, that's what's on the steering wheel. So you can set it up so it unlocks the doors or toggle unlock the doors. You can lock them or unlock them. We're gonna say unlock, and then you hit save so now that button is set to unlock and that's how you set up all these here but you noticed there was a long press a, or a double press you can set it up a double press or a long press so there's two different buttons there we can change it to a whole different button really so we can have that be the interior lights for a double press so you save that and it's a double press unlock one button does the same thing and again, that's how you set up everything. And when you go into this setting, this is how you would set up your door handles. You can have the door handles in the Model 3 and the Model Y. You can set those up to unlock things. You can have kick down features for the plaid. So you can activate plaid mode uh, just, by, just by pressing on the pedal. You can turn off your auto dimming headlights when you're in autopilot, which is I think is a cool thing. I have that turned on on mine so it doesn't automatically kick the uh, headlights on. I had some issues here. And I had to turn this on and off for before software update. Uh, I'm on software update.40, but I had to turn this off because I was not getting a regen coming to a complete stop and it wouldn't select gear for me. So I had to play with this. This is also where you can have rename the system. Let's go rename it. Uh, let's see here. P-L-A-I-D. We'll do a plaid and it was renamed. That way, when we go back up to the top, it's plaid because you can cycle through the other one. This is my Model Y. And uh, so really cool how you can set everything up. And I'm going to show you in normal driving 
how these are great. And you can add more. You can add two more buttons to these. So this comes with six. You can get different ones. Or if you had some for both cars, you can add them to this. So as we're driving, it makes it so much easier if you just push the button right behind where your hand is as you're driving. So, I mean, it, that alone makes this worth getting. Get the sexy buttons just for the turn signals with the yoke or a, if you went with a round steering wheel, it's just that much better because these things are stupid. The worst design, I think, in my opinion. And I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone on that. It's so hard to hit them. I actually would like to disable those because I hit those as I'm trying to get out of the car, as I'm grabbing the wheel and moving. I think a dumb design. But these things are great, great designs for, these sexy buttons here are great designs for a many different things in the car. I think it's well worth it. Um, and you can put them wherever you want. You can put them up here on the dash. You can put them on your nipples. There's so many different things you can do with them. Just order them because you're gonna get use out of them. You're gonna get, uh, you're gonna change your life in your car. It sounds stupid, but you're going to, there's a link down below, just order them. They're awesome. It's an awesome company. They're always doing updates. There's always new things. It's just like your Tesla. There's always updates and it's changing and getting better. Same thing with this company. They're always changing the buttons. They're always doing stuff. So just just order it. Just just order them and you'll you'll thank me. Or just thank me in the comments down below. But as always, stay awesome, stay positive. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Thank you.